Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining different types of input devices. For example, I am going to characterize input devices into two types, physical input devices and logical input devices. I am going to explain input devices so based on these two characteristics. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So let me begin the explanation of two different types of input devices that is physical input device and logical input device. So you know that input devices are the devices which provide input to the computer graphics application program. Here uh, one more thing, I am going to uh, explain this input types with respect to computer graphics. Okay. In general also it, it can be considered but specifically I am going to consider computer graphics application. Okay, So input devices can be characterized into two ways physical input device and logical input devices. So input device means it is going to accept the input from the user to give the input user can use keyboard or a mouse. So now what are physical input devices? Physical input devices are the input devices which has particular hardware architecture. That means in simple words, physical input devices means you can touch and feel the physical input devices. The major categories are what? Keyboard devices and pointing devices. Keyboard, right? Keyboard is like standard keyboard, flexible keyboard, handheld keyboard, etc. So these are the different uh, examples for keyboard devices. Pointing devices means best example mouse trackball, light pen, these are used to specify the position on the computer screen. You can specify the position. Getting my point? So if I say a physical input device, you, you can characterize that input devices with respect to hardware. That means in simple words, you can touch and feel, you can touch the mouse, you can touch the keyboard, right? So I'm going to explain different categories right now. Now keyboard. So as you know, Keyboard is one type of input device, uh, right? It has going to uh, it has set of characters. Keyboard contains set of characters, so we make use of ASCII value to represent the character. For each character, uh, for each uh, symbol in the keyboard, you can see for each character and the each uh, symbol in the keyboard we have ASCII value, right? So a keyboard interacts with the programmer by passing the ASCII value of the week. ASCII value of the key pressed by the programmer. If you press a particular key, the ASCII value of that particular key is going to be uh, passed to the monitor, right? So input can be given either single character or array of characters to the program. So that means you can give set of characters as an input or only single character as an input. Both ways are possible. So keyboard is a one type of input device, it's going to, we are going to give the input in the form of characters. Okay. Now, mouse and trackball. So, you can see in there in the diagram, this is a mouse, this is a trackball. So, these are pointing devices used to specify the position. You know that. So, here, so I am moving the mouse, right? I can move the cursor anywhere I want and I can specify the position here. See. I can move from one position to another position. So these are the pointing devices used to specify the position. So mouse and trackball interacts with the application program by passing the position of the clicked button. See, so you can click the mouse button wherever you want. All right. So uh, these coordinate values, right? Because if you consider a two dimensional screen, you should consider two values, a coordinate Y coordinate, right? So these coordinate values can be used by the application program to find out a specific position. Both these devices are similar in use and construction. Both trackball and mouse is similar in use. In the same way we can use them. Okay. In this device, the for example, uh, you, if you consider a mouse or a trackball, in these devices the motion of the ball is converted to signal back to the computer, right? Well, the motion of the ball is very important here. That motion of the ball is converted to signal. Well, how means by pair of encoders inside the device, right? Pair of encoders will be there. One is for horizontal motion and another is for vertical motion. Two 
by pair of encoders we can track the movement and we can send the signal right you know that this encoder measures motion in two orthogonal directions i already told you horizontally or vertically you can see here the values passed by the pointing devices can be considered as positions and converted to 2d locations that means pixels right you can see coordinate values x coordinate y coordinate if you know the both the coordinate values you can specifically find out the particular position right so so you can see simple in simple words i don't want to confuse you guys so if you know the values of the coordinates you can easily find out the particular position using the mouse right and this device is trackball or a mouse are relatively positioning devices because why why relatively positioning devices means because changes in the position of the ball yield a position in the user program right these are not uh, absolute right these are relative positioning devices because changes in the position of the balls definitely is going to yield the position okay next sorry next data tablets this are the one type of uh, input devices especially these are physical input devices what i am explaining now these are all physical input devices for example it provides absolute positioning data tablets provides absolute positioning it has rows and columns of wires embedded under its surface so if you consider this uh, data tablet so th under the surface the wires are connected horizontally and vertically right the you can find the intersection points uh, you can interact with the data tablets by means of intersection points the position of the stylus stylus is one type of pen that is used to interact with your data tablet right so the position of the stylus is determined through electromagnetic interactions between signals traveling through the wires i told you right so whatever the inter if you arrange the wires horizontally and vertically you are going to get some one intersection point right so uh, so the signal so between the intersections electromagnetic signals traveling through the wires and sensors in the stylus stylus can how stylus can uh, identify the position by the interaction points right next light pen so it is also one type of input device it consists of light sensing device such as photo cell so light pen to sense the particular point on the screen you are going to use a device such as photo cell the light pen is held at front of the crt you can see you can see light pen is can be held at front of the crt when the electron beam strikes this passer the light is emitted from the crt right if it exceeds the threshold then light sensing device of the light pen sends a signal to the computer right when you open a pen when a light uh, sorry when a light pen touches the screen there will be some threshold value right if it exceeds the threshold then light sensing device of the light pen sends a signal to the computer specifying the position to identify the position uh, the right uh, the threshold value should be uh, the value should ex uh, exceed the threshold value when the threshold value when the value is exceeded the threshold value uh, light pen is going to send a signal okay so to the computer that's the, thereby you can identify the position right but the major disadvantage is that it has difficulty in obtaining a position because uh, for example you can see here so when you take a crt monitor if you consider corners the amount of light in the corners of the crt monitors will be very less so when so you uh, in that corners you can't identify the position clearly that's why that is the major disadvantage in light pen okay next joystick so joysticks can be used in uh, computer uh, gaming gamings okay uh, you can use joysticks in video games right best example it is also one type of input device the motion of the stick in two orthogonal directions see joystick can be also moved in two orthogonal directions that is uh, horizontally and vertically 
right so in encoded uh, that uh, orthogonal direction is encoded encoded interpreted as two velocities integrated toy interface screen location uh, horizontal velocity and vertical velocity both of these uh, velocities are used to identify a screen location the integration implies that if the stick is left in its resting position there is no change in cursor position for example you can move this stick right if the stick is not moved you can assume that uh, it is in the resting position for example the faster the stick is moved from the resting position the faster the screen location changes so when you move the uh, stick faster obviously the location is going to change much faster so the joystick is variable sensitivity device right the advantage is that it is designed using mechanical elements such as springs and dampers right so we used a mechanical elements to design a joystick so if you use the springs and dampers which offer resistance to the user while pushing it right so if you push the joystick uh, it is going to offer resistance so while pushing the joystick so you are going to get a feel some mechanical feeling you are going to get that's why this uh, joysticks are suitable for flight simulators and gaming controllers right next space ball space ball is a three dimensional input device whatever the devices i explained so far are all 2d two dimensional that is only x direction and y direction we are going to consider that is horizontal direction and vertical direction we are going to consider but uh, here in a space ball i am going to consider one more uh, direction that is z it's a three dimensional input device which looks like for space ball is also like a joystick only but with a ball on the end of the stick you can see here stick doesn't move rather pressure sensors in the ball measure the forces supplied by the user that is stick uh, here stick is not going to move but the pressure sensors will be there in the ball that pressure sensor is going to measure the forces supplied by the user okay the space ball can measure not only three direct forces that is i told you right uh, up down front back left right three direct forces this is three dimensional but also three independent twists twists you can uh, twist this uh, space ball right so three independent twist uh, twists also measured use, along with the three direct forces so totally the space ball measures six independent values that is six degree of freedom right three independent twists and three direct forces total six degrees of freedom and other three dimensional devices such as laser scanners right this uh, laser scanner is going to measure 3d position directly right next logical input devices so in simple words what are logical input devices so i am going to characterize i am going to use uh, this uh, physical devices as logical devices uh, don't get confused here i am going to explain this see here for example consider the following c code here you can see there scan up is used to take the input print up is going to print the output the above code reads and then writes an integer you know that although we run this program on our station providing input from the keyboard and seeing output on the display screen yes right we can, how it is going to be how we are going to give the input to this by using a keyboard and how we are going to see the output by in the monitor screen the use of scanf and printf request no knowledge of the properties of physical devices you know that right i don't want size of the mouse i don't want number of keys in the keyboard to run this right i am i am accepting the input and i am displaying the output so my law my physical properties are not at all required here to read the input and to display the output this is logical way of thinking right getting my point now i'm going to explain this in a detail way okay so when i say a logical device right so i'm going to consider two major characteristics 
so what are the two major characteristics that is going to describe the logical behavior behavior of input devices one is the measurement that the device returns to the user program and the second one is the time when the device return those measurements for example uh, when you click on the keyboard it's going to display the characters that are measurements characters are measurements here at the time when the device returns those measurements how much time at what time that characteristics are displayed on the, uh, the characters are displayed on the output screen now api defines six classes of logical input devices which are given below six total six logical devices i can explain one is a string yes string device is a logical device that provides the ascii value of input characters you know that now you can ask a question string uses a keyboard string is a logical device it's not physical device you can you touch a string but you can touch a keyboard by using a keyboard right i can uh, define string getting my point suppose if you have any doubt please post your doubts in the comment section right so string device is going to provide a ascii value for input characters to the user program how the logical device is usually implemented by the means of physical keyboard string is implemented by the physical keyboard now locator locator device provides a position in word coordinates to the user program it is going to give a position how it is going to be implemented by using the pointing device such as mouse or a trackball getting my point guys the locator can you touch a locator no locator is a logical way of providing the coordinates right how we are going to implement a locator by using a physical mouse how we are going to implement a string by using a physical keyboard now pick a pick device returns the identifier on of an object on the display to the user program now you can ask question sir what is identifier identifier means it's like address if you want to find out any object you can find out that object using a address you know that if you consider a array you can find out the array using the address of that particular element now pick device returns the identifier how you can implement the uh, pick pick using the mouse name only it says you can pick you can pick the identifier using a mouse getting my point next choice again choice how you can choice means it is a set of choices it is a list of choices how you can implement a choice by using a mouse see string can be implemented in keyboard locator can be implemented by mouse pick can be implemented by mouse choice can be implemented by mouse choice menus especially menus menus will have a list of choices this choice device allows the user to select one of a discrete number of options getting my point guys right so user can select one of the n alternatives he can it's his choice for example uh if you consider a list of colors as a menu what are the entries can be there in that menu colors menu red green yellow like that you can select any of your choice how using a mouse see choice is logical way of giving a input but how you can implement that using a physical device mouse next evaluators they provide analog input to the user program on some graphical systems for example uh you know that uh, evaluators will be like uh, uh, your uh, selections like uh, rating scale you can rate something some product from 1 to 10 those are evaluators how you can give the values either you can give rating through keyboard or you can implement uh, 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 implement evaluators using mouse also graphically that is also possible see evaluators is one type of logical inputs getting my point guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section next stroke obviously stroke is a device it's going to return array of locations how you can implement this by using a keyboard example pushing down a mouse button starts the or mouse also you can use pushing down a mouse button starts the transfer of data into a specified array and releasing button ends this transfer in simple words 
if you click one button using a mouse all the data will be stored in the array if you release the button using a mouse all the data will uh, transfer all the data transfer is going to stop this is one type of uh, input you are giving input as a set of elements how we are going to give that means using a mouse so getting my point using the physical input devices like keyboard or a mouse you can implement this logical input way okay so that's it guys uh, if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the